I'm Martin Van Zale, cardiology fellow at Mayo Clinic here for Fits on the Go blog with Dr. Allison Bailey, program director at Erlinger Heart and Lung Institute, and uh, also previous uh, Leadership Academy uh, chair, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, what would you say is a, has been the Leadership Academy's role in advancing your career, and uh, what would you say to fellows who want to become involved? So the Leadership Academy was a wonderful experience that I had the opportunity to go through. I was one of the first cohort, um, and we had leadership development training, which I think has helped in all aspects of my career. I'm the program director for our fellowship, and then I do preventative cardiology. Um, I'm also an incoming governor, so it's helped me a lot. The Leadership Academy has helped me network with people, learn those key skills that help you uh, come up with strategies and uh, discussions. Um, so what I would tell fellows, you should all apply to the Leadership Academy. There's a cohort. There's also lots of uh, online education now, leadership education at the ACC, which I think is really instrumental. You don't have to be part of the cohort. You can go in and uh, uh, look at that online. There's a whole toolkit. Um, and you should get involved with the ACC, no matter what role you have or what you're interested in. Uh, at the national level, it's great, but there's also a state chapter, and the states are really trying to bring in more fellows and FITs. Um, I'm in Tennessee, and, and we have fellows in training as part of everything we do, and all of the states are trying to do that. So you can get very involved with your state chapter. And where do you think the uh, Leadership Academy is going? What's on the forefront? What's next? So um, they just started a new cohort. So each cohort's in for two years. So you really do get a lot of uh, individualized attention uh, and a lot of training. Um, the next cohort will be starting next year. Um, Roseanne Nelson runs the program. She's sort of in charge of all of the leadership education. Um, we still get together and have meetings. We got together here. We go watch the cohorts. Everybody does a capstone project as part of the cohort uh, and then present out to the leadership. And we get to go attend that. Um, and I think the college is working to design more leadership opportunities outside of just the Leadership Academy. I think that's really where things are going to head. Excellent. Excellent. And what advice do you have for early fellows, I'm a first year cardiology fellow, um, for their career in general and uh, how to advance their career, get involved uh, with the ACC and all of that? I would say show up. That's the that's the first thing. Uh, when people uh, when there's an opportunity to do something with the ACC, you should get involved. Um, you know, there's lots and lots of options. If you don't want to do education, education's not for everybody. There's advocacy. There's lots of opportunities in advocacy. You know, we've sort of been disconnected um, as a phys as physicians from what happens in the legislature, and it's really important for our patients. Uh, nobody's going to speak up for them but us. Uh, and so I think that's really important. That's a great place for fellows to get involved. There's a day on the hill every single year. In a legislative conference. There are travel awards that fellows can apply for. Um, and then again, your state chapters, I think is a great place that fellows don't necessarily think about always, but there's lots of opportunities there. And of course, you know, the fits on the go here and lots of opportunities at the annual meeting. Thank you so much, Dr. Bailey. I uh, really appreciate you being with us today. For more videos like this, visit youtube.com slash fits on the go.